Welcome back. And I'm just sitting here talking with Renee and Michelle about different options such as collagen creams or vitamins to do highlights or low lights or roller sets or blow dries. So Michelle, I'll start with you. You have you have great highlights in your hair. Is that your stylist artistic view or was it to, to maybe cover gray or to just make a change? Um, I did it because I have very dark hair and I think that it the highlights give me don't make my doesn't draw them out down my face it make it kind of lightens it uh, up it doesn't make me look as old and that's what I like of, of the highlights okay yeah okay do you have gray hair I have a few <laughs> You know, I sometimes not you, a lot, but you can I make do. the the grays into like a highlight or, or whatever. Yeah. No, you these know. are more like reddish, I guess, or goldish. Oh, okay, okay. So. Now, Renee, we talked a lot about vitamins and different things, nutrients for the hair, the skin. Are you taking anything specific? Absolutely. Do you take vitamins? Yes. Okay. Um, I've, I have to say, I've been fortunate. I've always had pretty good skin, but um, lately my hair has been a little. Um, drab so I've been taking hair vitamins um, I started off with a one vitamins I like them and then I heard about another brand and I you know I switched to another brand but I'm always looking for good um, vitamins for hair uh, I've changed my diet so good nutrition okay. all to improve uh, the quality of my hair yeah because you know what really what goes on on the inside it shows up on the outside I believe so that. if you know if something's going on inside internally you know, your hair will reflect it. Now, I know a lot of um, doctors or, or nutritionists, they're recommending collagen cr the creams that you rub on or that you rub in for different things. Have you tried any of those things? I haven't tried any of the collagen creams, but I have um, tried other creams um, that for, um, I guess, anti-aging type creams or gels that I find that I wear under the makeup. Um. Girl, I need to rub it off from <laughs> head to toe. I need an anti-age, I need, I need some on my toes, okay? Because it's just, you look down and like, whoa, when did that happen? When did that happen? But um, Michelle, I wanted to ask you about, now you get your, when you, do you do a lot of blow drying to your hair? Because I know it's fine. You know, I do. I, I blow dry my hair, and I usually just hand scrunch it. You know, like I, I really don't use a brush or anything. I just pretty much hands and blow dryer. Yeah. And um, sometimes I'll use uh, a little a cream mousse or, mousse or, mousse or yeah, something yeah, just to, to help give it. it the texture. Yeah. yeah. Renee, a lot of times when we do your hair, we do a, well. It's not a roller set, but we do under the dryer, under the hood. Um, and ha that's been working pretty well. Do you think that you'd rather have a hair dryer? Um, I, it, it depends. I think I like the hair dryer to take some of the, uh, the moisture out of the hair when you're trying to blow dry because I have coarse hair <laughs> and it takes a long time, time to, to blow dry. dry. So right. it's nice to get some of the, the, I think the dampness out of it. Um, but personally, I like the blow dry because I think I like the body that it that gives. That it gives, in. right. Yes. Now, there was an old adage, good hair versus bad hair. Yes. Right, you, Renee, you know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> and actually, your daughter, know. you know, she has a, a lot of curly hair. When she first brought her daughter to me, I was like, oh, oh, hell. <laughs> okay, I can't with all this hair. What, why did you wait this long until to come to me? But anywho, good hair versus bad hair is usually the old adage that, you know, your heritage, you're mixed with percentage of Caucasian and the hair is kind of like g good. Well, let me tell you, it's all good hair as long as it's growing on your head. We'll be right back. <laughs>